If we never had down days, we would not be able to appreciate the good days because life is all about contrast. Yep, so ups and downs, but if you're having one of those downs and you need some tips to cheer you up and feel better, here's some of our tips to help. Hope these tips really help. But before you listen to the tips, please don't forget, if you subscribe to our channel, then you'll get these films as soon as they're uploaded. So, tip number one, gratitude. Gratitude is considered the antidote to anxiety. It's, for me, it's the key to life, really, because, you know, we, we search things in our life, we want things, and then we achieve those things, and then we just accept them, and we take them for granted. So Whereas true. gratitude actually grounds us and makes us realise how amazing we are. Yeah. You see, and when you get that feeling, you realise how amazing you are because you're grateful for all the things that you've got around you, the friendships you've created, uh, your home, your, your animals, your, everything that you've got around you. If you take that in and you feel grateful for that, then you don't feel as bad. No, it definitely makes you feel better and definitely lifts your mood. Uh, another thing that really can lift your mood is music. So be sure to put on some really banging tunes, something that will really help you to feel good. Things from the past, things that you've danced to down at the disco down in your youth. Whatever it is, just some really good music. Music is so emotive and it will definitely help brighten up. A dark day. Yeah, you've got to you've got to create a feeling good playlist. What yeah. would you put on there, Eva? Oh my gosh, I have a feel good playlist. I've got all sorts of that, and it really varies from things from when I was a teenager um, to even things like Frank Sinatra from you know from many years ago, right up to modern day. Anything that just makes me kind of want to dance or just makes me smile. I think a go to is going to be some rock music. Yeah, it's I got like to be. Music. I like a, a bit of Nickelback, but one of my favourites is Van Halen Jump. Yeah. yeah. You know, some great songs, but create your, your, your list, make you feel better. Mm -hmm. uh, third tip, exercise. You know, actually moving about, you know, and uh, emotion comes from motion. So the more you move, and if you go out just for like a, a brisk walk, even a run, yeah. it will change how you feel. Yeah, going outside, getting a bit of fresh air always helps. Uh, another thing that can really, like in an instant, lift your mood is that it's one of those mates, one of those friends that you know you can pick the phone up to and you can talk about things where you both laughed uncontrollably it's kind of like rekindling those memories and, and that will really help to make you feel better we've all got those friends we call them igniters yeah. don't we you know you look through your phone and oh, they, no matter what's going on in your life you will always take a phone call from yeah, them definitely uh next tip look through a photo album yes. they're kind of a bit of a thing of a past yeah, photo but, album yeah, however yeah. look through the photographs on your phone look at those memories and get some great emotions from them. Yeah, because can, you can kind of be grateful and practice gratitude by looking through your phone and the things that you've experienced that we kind of just forget. Um, another thing that you can do is another little tip for you um, and that is to literally watch something that's going to make you laugh. Like watch something that you can, you know, that you can put on TV and it will make you better laugh. I know that for me it's things like I can watch Friends, that makes me laugh. Um, I also like Vicar of Dibley. I also um, like Thrills and Horses. Thrills and Horses. Thank you. I was just thinking that. But then there's like films as well that I know that I can always watch, like Uncle Book. I mean, Doesn't how matter many how many times. How many times I watched Uncle Book? So many times. <laughs> and always at the same point as well. Planes, um, trains, and automobiles. But yeah, whatever, but so just, many films. Yeah, things that just really help you to to, to laugh and to to promote that laughter and feel good. And the last tip, tip number seven, is hug. Yeah, hugging is amazing uh but, but been a bit difficult with covid uh mm -hmm. however we can hug each other either mm -hmm. and it's just you know and just getting that it, all the feel good hormones yeah hugging is Love really it. good there's been a lot of studies done about hugging actually and the effects of it so if you are living with somebody obviously because of covid if, if we're still being affected when you listen to this um then obviously you can't but if you are living with somebody or you are who are you know in your bubble or you who you can hug then do a hug just you know, random hugs, they really do help you to feel better. And, and remember, tomorrow is a new day. But if you want cheering up, another great thing that you can do, by the way, is to listen to our podcast. It's called Making the Change. And throughout that, as a, as well as loads of brilliant tips, you'll hear some of Nick's jokes. He's got yeah, a bit because... of a habit of telling jokes, <laughs> bad jokes. Yeah, but because but... laughter, again, antidote to anxiety. Yeah. So I uh, really hope that those tips have helped. Do take a, a listen to our podcast. Do have a look around our YouTube channel. Uh, there's lots here to help.